Welcome back to Grimo. This is episode 31. This is the Russian Grand Prix. And, uh, yeah, no audio because uh, for some reason this game likes to mess... Well, not the game, but the recording likes to mess up sometimes and corrupt the audio. So, it's sort of none of that. But anyway, Russia, um, a track that last time out in the first Russian Grand Prix race we were able to win. As you can see, this is the screen having a spasm. This, Yeah, this is actually what it did. But um, yeah, won the we won the Russian Grand Prix the first time out, and it's uh, inaugural. I don't know what the word is for it. In its inaugural race, really, we were able to pick up the win, and we'll be looking to do the same here today. We are, of course, just one point ahead of Lewis Hamilton, and Nico Rosberg is sneaking his way into the drivers' championship as well. And unfortunately, as you can see, this is messing up quite a lot. All right, that was. I hope. I think that was the last of the messing ups. Well, with that being said, we're building up to the lights now. Of course, last grid, last place on the grid as per usual. There's four lights. There's five lights. Lights out, and away we go for the Russian Grand Prix. We got off to a pretty good start, to be fair. Ericsson getting off to an awful start because he's in a catrium. Coming up now on all the back markers. Going to go through turn one, really. This is it's just a long swoop right-hander. Going down the inside of everyone. This is not where the grip of the track is. You can see by the wheel shaking. But no one's on this side of the track. We're going to try and sneak up a few cars. Perez we get kind of close to there. We're having to 15th side by side with Perez right now. And again, we're going to get squeezed out on, onto the much, well, onto the side of the track that has much less grip. But at the same time, we're up into 13th. Vern just to the side of us. A little bit of contact with him. But we're up into 12th. And now Button and Kvyat. Well, Kvyat's been overtaken. We're up into 11th. Button and Magnuson both going slow. And now we're up into 9th. Massa takes a wide line on the way out, and now we are going to squeeze past him very nicely into 8th position off of just the first lap. That is kind of shit, because the AI just looks awful. But uh, then our the one who I've set is the rival, Sebastian Vettel ahead of us. Of course, the real rival is Lewis Hamilton, who is much further up the road. Vettel, though, is just in the way. Well, sort of in the way. We're going to be looking to try and make an overtake th on this straight, and then through the right hand of the follows. This is a part of the track that, for some reason, I'm actually good at, and I can make much like it than the AI. Here we go, building up now on Vettel, breaking very late, and we're up into seventh. Bottas goes out wide, and we sort of get held up by him slightly. We're stuck on the outside now on the curb. Going to try and cut it back in on the inside to this uh, left right-hander. Got him through the left, and keep it in check through the right. We're up into sixth position off of the first lap. Which is kind of frustrating. I mean, it's much better than Suzuka, where it took an hour, where it took forever to get up into a points uh, position. But that's lap one over and done with. Next stop now is Ricardo, and as we can see, Lewis Hamilton leading the Grand Prix. And uh, I imagine Nico Rosberg is behind him in second. But here we are, lap three now. We've closed the gap a little bit to Ricardo. DRS is enabled, but you don't get DRS down this straight because the DRS recognition point is at the end of the track. Coming up on Ricardo now, just using Slipstream. Gonna go for a late break. Might pull out. No, Ricardo takes a wide line on the exit, and we are able to speed pass into fifth position. Now on to lap four behind Hulkenberg. We have DRS. We'll have DRS on this straight, so it should be a very simple overtake up into fourth position. There's the DRS. Also in the Slipstream over 200 miles an hour, and we are very comfortably up into fourth place. Easily done there. And now our next size, you can see, is Nico Rosberg, but that was going to be a long way away. That was a long way away. We had a pit stop, uh, a lot of catching up to do, and then, um, yeah, then we made a mistake and we sort of lost a lot of time. And now we could all the way to lap 17 for the next pit stop. We're still in fourth, as you can see. Alonso's in third, and I couldn't remember where the mistake was to try and find it. I think it was, it, well, I know what it was, but I can't remember where it was. It was a drive through penalty for um, cutting a corner. But anyway, there we go, putting on the prime tyres now, the harder compound tyres for the final stint. So now we're going to be looking to try and gain on um, the cars up ahead, trying to regain fourth position and even potentially catch Alonso for third position. We need a podium finish today. So we're going to come out in, I think it's going to be seventh. It looks that way. Yes, it is. Seventh position there. Bottas up ahead, as we can see. Oh, no, it's Button. 
I thought it was, I thought I said uh, Bottas buttoned up ahead and now later on into lap 18. Down this straight, we have DRS on him. Our old teammate Jensen Button through this left hander. Uh, should have no problem real getting him. Here we go. On the break, side by side into this right hander. Button goes wide and we're up into sixth position. Nicely done there. And now we're going to be looking to catch up on the two people ahead of us in the pits because if we overtake them, then you know that's. A, uh, a very normal pit stop done. We haven't gained or lost any positions. So, with Button out of the way, in clean air now, should be a very easy job to take back fourth position. A little bit of a wide line there on the exit, but that's okay. Heading down on this straight now. Going to knock it up into Ricks just to make sure we are definitely ahead of them. And this, there we go. We're up into fourth place, no problem at all. Next person ahead is uh, Fernando Alonso he is going to be the main target and after lap after lap of gaining it's lap 21 now there is Fernando Alonso just ahead of us he's on the faster tire but we were putting in more consistent lap times now heading down the back straight gonna have DRS on him let's see if we can get him into the right hand like we've had a few other cars should be relatively easy. Just going to not make contact with him. It's going to be close. Late on the brakes. Down the inside. I don't know if we made contact or not. But Alonso gets squeezed out wide. Almost hit the barrier. Thankfully he did, he did not. And now lap 27. The rain is coming down. There was a 16% chance of rain. And in the final few laps it started to rain quite a bit. We got right up behind uh, Rosberg and Hamilton. Unfortunately we couldn't catch them. I think if it wasn't for the rain, we may have been able to catch him. Rosberg wins. Hamilton comes home in second. We're in third. We know this means that Lewis Hamilton has, in fact, jumped us and has taken the lead of the Drivers' Championship. But Nico Rosberg, I'm not too sure about. I know he was just a few points behind us heading into this race. And there you go. We finish uh, 2.5 seconds behind Rosberg and 1.7 behind Hamilton. But uh, it was a bit of it was a bit of a shame, really. We really could have caught them if it wasn't for the rain. But the AI just had that added grip over everyone in the rain. So, and plus it's a Mercedes car, and they treated very nicely. But there we go, third place, not a bad finish. And as we can see, we're actually down to third in the drivers' championship. Rosberg in second, Hamilton in first. Heading into the United States Grand Prix, there was going to be two points between us and third place. It is going to be a I'm looking forward to that race between us three. I think Mercedes have, in fact, clinched the Constructors' Championship. But US Grand Prix and the Drivers' Championship are our main intentions. We're going to be looking to try and take back the lead in the Drivers' Championship heading out of the United States. I'm looking forward to that race. It's going to be a good one. I'll see you on Saturday for that race, guys. Take care. And ta -ra.